forward with that wheel, right there. Don't worry about this, worry about you. Please come forward, come over. It's a beautiful morning. We're loading these sacks of concrete. Look at the view up here. The mountains purple this morning, fresh snow on them. Oh yeah, beautiful. So we're getting this concrete. We're gonna uh, put one bag of concrete in each of these holes for our um, posts and corner posts and stuff. Well, I don't think I've told you exactly what uh, we are doing here. Um, but so far but i wanted to tell you what we're what we're up to we're actually in the process of completely redoing our garden fence we built this fence i want to say about 2005 because we moved we got married in 2004 started working on our home in in about that time in the fall of 2004 and the next year we started our garden so these posts actually rotted out so not really impressed with these treated posts. They're four by four posts. I wouldn't recommend them. I've since realized that they're actually ground contact. They're not meant for direct bury. So kind of my fault there. And of course I put like large posts in the corner. I mean, what are they, 16 year lifespan and now they're all rotted out. So we're just in the process of putting all new steel fencing up and we're gonna use the same, uh, same wire. It's welded wire, um, but we're building the fence about a foot eight inches to foot on the outside of the original fence so that it's just easier to work. Um, so that's what we're doing. And it's a beautiful day this morning. I'll show you the mountains once again. I'll show you some pictures periodically because it's just absolutely a fabulous fall day here. It's uh, October, uh, mid-October, uh, just past mid-October. And yeah, just a marvelous uh, day. So I'm hoping by tonight, we're gonna have all our uh, posts set and we gotta put concrete in each hole and then uh, maybe we'll even get some uh, some of our tubing across the top. And then uh, tomorrow, I can't be here, I gotta go on a job, but maybe Thursday we'll get uh, more of the fence up. And there are the mountains. Oh, it is just beautiful. Look how they change in only like uh, 45 minutes or an hour. Beautiful. Are you a little chilly, Chloe? A little cold, you're dressed to beat all this morning. Yep. All right, time to get to work here. Severely rocky soil we got here. We're just cleaning out the holes.
lunchtime, look at those mountains. That's how they look right now. They're always changing. And we just got done filling the last, cleaning out the last of these holes. But now we're having to do a little bit of shift work because our holes were just a little bit off this string, which is kind of a bummer, but we're getting it. Cleaning out the back of that hole, had to do a couple. But we're getting these posts set, which is awesome. I got a couple guys helping me, which is great. Of course, Chloe's the big helper of the day. There we go. Chloe. It is now about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, and there's the mountains. You can see the shadows are changing on them. 4.30 and it's time to call it a day. This is what we got done today. We got these posts all set up nice in a line. These guys all done up here and they line up pretty nice. Now the only section that's left is going to be just from the gate up to the corner. We did all the way around the back, around this side, all the way down here and across the front and then up to the gate right here. So. Tomorrow we got to go on another job, so I won't be able to do it, but everything is concreted in, so that's good. We're going to let them set for a day, and then we'll come back and put our tops on. we got to cut them the right height, so we'll take some pipe cutters and cut them off. This ground was so hard, we just had to put them kind of where we could put them as far as height goes. So there we go. Let's take a look at the mountains. They look completely different now. Very, very different. Because the sun's shining there, we have a hard time seeing them. dark hard to tell so there you go okay we'll come back to the fence in uh, about two days day after tomorrow hopefully get a, quite a bit more done it's another beautiful morning here in Montana and we are working on this fence a bit again today and there you can see we got this top rail on on part of this and we're going around the backside now and uh, I'll show you what we're doing okay so we've got this side pretty much ready for a wire now and you can see this fence is in dire need of repair the old fence you know it's falling down my rails are rotting out these are completely rotted on the bottom and it just was not a good plan hey check out the mountains this morning Some fresh snow again last night isn't that just pretty as could be oh I just never get tired of looking at those mountains yes absolutely every time I look at them they look different okay I got some help this morning again and I, I got one of our employees at Metal Arc, he's helping me. His name is Andy. We'll see what he's doing. How's it going, Andy? All right, he's filling in the holes. And then uh, I got Justin up here. He's cutting the tops of these things off. How's the cutting going, Justin? All right. Justin's cutting the tops of these off. Well, that's me and Joe. As we're uh, trying to pull this last post loose with the backhoe here. right here of fence on here because the other section was too short and then we we cut that post off but we don't have a cap for it so we're just gonna let it stand there right now and then we pulled this fence tight so now all we have to do is just put the wires on to hold the fence to the posts and the railing. And then now we're gonna do the same thing to this side of the fence, this section. And right now we're um, putting staples in the rail or tie for uh, the gate post right there.
so we've had the, you can see this uh, excavator is pulling this back. We've had a bunch of rain recently because this was a new uh, post. We didn't have this stretched uh, tight and pulled together. This whole gate just pulled this post over. So now we've had to pull it back so we can staple it, attach, stretch the wire, and then it'll stay here because it'll hold itself. But we had to, had to pull it back quite a ways. It was probably leaning like three inches in the last week or so since we have been working on it. Good job, boys. So the only thing left on this fence now is just to put these wire ties around it to hold it in place. Everything stretched tight. The boys did an amazing job. We got this top area stretched tight and this area stretched tight. We had to add more wire. Here's some junk wire. There were like three pieces spliced together, so we got rid of that, put one longer piece in. So it's a job, but I'm glad this is done. I was. Um, not really looking forward to replacing the fence this fall. There's other things that I think are, that I thought were kind of important, more important, but uh, I'm just glad we got it done. So anyways, good job boys. And uh, we're gonna go have some dinner and we're thankful this fence is basically done. We're just gonna, um, the boys in the next couple days, they can still put some wire ties on and then it'll be wrapped up. So thanks for watching another episode of Montana Haven.